June Lane from Bebbington, Merseyside. Janet O'Regan from Pontret Vendigide, Mid Wales. Philomena Dwyer from Colchester. Graham Palmer from Nottingham. Anne Yeshin from Ilford, Essex. Charles Turner from Wigan. David Maddock from Manchester. David Pugh from West Hope, Herefordshire. Kevin Nelson from Liverpool. Don Davids from Muswell Hill. Colin McPhee from Edinburgh. Derek Smith from Allstock, Dorset. Peter Zolte from Solihull. Peter Hollings from Pixie, Essex. And Warren Ray from Ballymena are all here to play 15 to 1. Thank you. Hello. If you're new to 15 to 1, I'm William Stewart and this is as tough a quiz game as you'll see currently on television. Our 15 contestants start with three lives and they answer general knowledge questions. Incorrect answers will cost them those lives and when the lives are gone, they go. Two rounds will get rid of 12 of them, leaving three to join me here for the final. And if you're playing at home, remember the answers have to come in three seconds. OK, here we go. June, I'll give you a reminder of the exact rules of round one. OK? The first incorrect answer will cost you one of those three lives. A second incorrect answer will cost you the other two and you will have to sit down. You each face two questions in the first round, tw twice round the semicircle, one to fifteen. Are you ready for your first question? Yes. What would interest a lexicographer? Handwriting. Words. Your first life has gone, June. Janet, in 1945, Joan Littlewood founded a theatre workshop. Where is it? Mermaid Theatre? No, it's in London. It's in the East End of London. You've lost a life. Philomena, of which battle fought in 1805 is October the 21st the anniversary? The Battle of Trafalgar. It is. Graham, how many players are there in an Australian rules football team? Um, is it 15? 18, sir. Anne, from which country did the USA buy Alaska? Russia. They did. Charles, which pop group are Anetha, Anifred, Benny and Bjorn? Abba. They are. David, Virus is Latin for what? Uh, a disease. No, it's for poison, sir. David, who returned to his native Russia in 1987, having defected 26 years previously? Ashkenazi. Nureyev. Kevin, which part of the judo costume indicates the grade achieved? The belt. It does indeed, sir. Don, in fiction, of which town was Michael Henshard the mayor? Amityville. Casterbridge. Colin, the explorer Amerigo Vespucci gave his name to America. What nationality was he? Italian. He was. Derek, what is the distaff side of the family? Female. It is indeed. Peter, in 1984, 85, 86, who was the youngest competitor in the men's singles at Wimbledon? Becker. He was, Boris Becker. Peter, Thomas Hobson, a Cambridge hirer of horses, insisted that each customer must take the horse nearest the door. What phrase did he put into the language? I don't know. Hobson's choice. Warren, in World War II, what was a Bevin boy? Pass. It was a boy who was conscripted for mining rather than the armed forces. Your second question, June, and you need this one. Which German word for lightning war was used for air raids on Britain? The Blitz. Blitz. You have to sit down. Janet, what made the 1631 edition of the Bible so popular? I haven't the slightest idea. <laughs> the omission of the word not in Exodus, and it read, Thou shalt commit adultery. <laughs> and it became known as the Adulterer's Bible. You have to sit down. Philomena, which Orson Welles film was based on the life of William Randolph Hearst? <laughs> Citizen Kane, you know it, didn't you? You knew it. You've lost one life. Graham, what colour of ensign is the flag flown by ships of the British Merchant Navy? Red. It is, sir. Anne, in Shakespeare's play, whose final words were eight to Brute? Julius Caesar. They were. Charles, what would you be if you had a certificate from the worshipful company of farriers? <laughs> a blacksmith, sir. David, who wrote The Ballad of Reading Jail? Oscar Wilde. He did. 
David, number two. What are you afraid of if you suffer from xenophobia? Foreigners. Yes, sir. Kevin, who wrote the Hungarian Rhapsody? Bozsa. List. Don, where in your body would you find the atrium? In your eye. Your heart, sir. You have to sit down. Colin, where does a troglodyte live? In a cave. He does. Derek, in the heavens, by what name is the Ursa Major constellation otherwise known? Large bear, great bear. Yes, sir. The great bear or the plough. Peter, what is the unit of currency in South Africa? The rand. It is. Peter, number two. Of what is rhinoceros horn made? Ivory. Hair, sir. You have to sit down, Peter. Warren, you need this one. Who sang Falling in Love Again in the film The Blue Angel? Marlene Dietrich. <laughs> we lost five contestants in round one. Anthony, the details, please. At the end of round one, we've had to say goodbye to June Lane from Bebbington in Merseyside, Janet O'Regan from Pontred Vendigide, Mid Wales, Don David from Muswell Hill, Peter Hollings from Pitsy in Essex, and Warren Ray from Ballymena. Philomena, I'll explain the rules of round two to you. The rest of you must listen carefully, OK? I'm going to ask you the first question off this pack. An incorrect answer will cost you one of those two lives you have left, and I'll move on to Graham. You give me a correct answer, and I'll ask you to nominate one of your opponents still standing on the semicircle. If they answer correctly, the chance to nominate is theirs. If they answer incorrectly, it will cost them a life, and I'll come back to you and ask you for another number, or, if you like, the same number. This round will continue until there are just three of you left to join me for the final. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go, Philomena. What weapon does Britannia traditionally hold in her hand? A trident. A number, please. Thirteen. Peter, in which Commonwealth country is Arnhem Land? Arnhem Land is in Canada. Australia, you've lost a life. Philomena, another number, please. Twelve. Derek. In which European country is the escudo the unit of currency? Portugal. It is, Derek. A number, please. Three. Philomena, Mrs. Bandranaka was the world's first woman prime minister of which country? Sri Lanka. A number, please. Uh, number 12. Derek, again. Which famous racehorse was kidnapped in Ireland? Shergar. A number, please, Derek. Six. Charles, with whom do you associate the equation E equals MC squared. <laughs> Einstein. Another number, please, Derek. Seven. David, what is a balalaika? Uh, a light. It's a musical <laughs> instrument, sir. Derek, a number, please. Eight. Eight. David, of what is an atoll island formed? Seashells. That's coral, sir. Yes, a number, please. Number nine. Kevin. Who was the male movie star of the film East of Eden? James Dean. A number, please, Kevin. Number three. Philomena, which Gilbert and Sullivan opera is set in Venice? <laughs> it had to be the gondoliers. Another number, please. Number 13. Number 13. Peter, what nationality was Sir Robert Helpman, the choreographer? Australian. A number, please, Peter. Uh, three. Three. Philomena again. Who did Kipling call the widow at Windsor? Queen Victoria. A number, please, Philomena. Uh, number nine, please. Number nine. Kevin, the Americans call it a faucet. What do we call it? A tap. A number, please, Kevin. <clears throat> number 13. Number 13. Peter, who wrote the music and lyrics to South Pacific? Rogers and Hammerstein. A number, please, Peter. Nine. Number nine again. Kevin, an American soldier is often called a GI. What does GI stand for? Government issue. It does, sir. A number, please. Number eight. David, what is calligraphy? It's the study of handwriting. It is, sir. A number, please. Uh, number five. Anne, the Queen retired her horse in 1986. What was he called? Burma. Burmese. You've lost one of your life. Nearly correct. Another number, please, David. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Kevin, in a right angle triangle, what is the name of the side opposite the right angle? The hypotenuse. Yes, sir. A number, please, Kevin. Uh, number eight. David, 
In money terms, in slang, what is a monkey? Twenty-five pounds. Five hundred, sir. You've lost a life, Kevin. Another number, please. Number three. Number three. Philomena, where in the body is the retina? In the eye. A number, please. Um, twelve, please. Twelve. Derek, where was Britain's first TV broadcasting station opened in 1936? Alexandra Palace. Yes, sir. A number, please. Five. Anne, in which sport might you use an Eskimo roll going through a gate? Slalom. Canoeing. You've lost a life. Another... Derek, please. Um, four. Graham, for what are Pulitzer Prizes awarded? Writing novels, books. Yes, uh, journalism, literature. Yes, a number, please. Uh, number 13, please. Peter... In which year was the first commercial television broadcast in Britain? 1954. 55, sir. Graham, another number? 13 again, 13 please. again, Peter. The Russians put the first artificial satellite into orbit in 1957. What was it called? Sputnik. A number, please, Peter? Uh, 11. Colin, what is the three-dimensional image created by laser beams called? They're called holograms. A number, please, Colin? Um, number four. Graham, what type of craft first crossed the channel in 1959? Hovercraft. A number, please, sir? Um, 11. 11. Colin, which prince planned the Great Exhibition of 1851? Prince Albert. A number, please, sir? Uh, number 6. Charles, in which language was the Old Testament originally written? Hebrew. A number, please, Charles? 7. 7. David, how often is a quinquennial event held? 75 years. Every five years you have to sit down, David. Charles, another number, please. Eight. Eight. David, William Maxwell Aitken was a newspaper publisher. By what title was he better and later known? Lord Beaverbrook. Yes, sir. A number, please. Uh, number three. Number three. Philomena, of which planet is Ganymede a moon? Uranus. Jupiter, you have to sit down, Philomena. David, another question, please, sir. Uh, number five. Number five. Anne. By what name are backers of plays in the, th in the theatre known? Angels. They are, Anne. A number, please. Thirteen. Thirteen. Peter, Fidelio was which composer's only opera? Beethoven. A number, please, Peter. Um, six. Six. Charles, of whom did Queen Victoria say, such a head, I wish we had her at the war office? I don't know. It had to be Florence Nightingale, didn't it? <laughs> you have to sit down, Charles. Peter, another number, please, sir. Number five. Number five. Anne, where was the birthplace of the Prophet Muhammad? Mecca. A number, please. Thirteen. Thirteen. Peter, which former English test cricketer became Bishop of Liverpool? David Shepherd. A number, please, Peter. Uh, six. Six. That's kicking a man when he's down. He's out. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, eight. I'm eight. sorry. I couldn't see the, um, okay, the upright. <laughs> number eight. Sorry. David, whose aeroplane was called the Spirit of St. Louis? Lindbergh. A number, please, David. Five. Five. Anne, how in 1927 did the dancer Isadore Duncan die? She died when her scarf tangled round the wheels of a car. A very complete answer. A number, please, Anne. Thirteen. Thirteen. Peter, how many chains in a mile? Eighty-eight. Uh, oh, you should have stopped halfway, sir. Uh, 18. <laughs> I thought you had. You've I lost a life and you have to sit mm. down. <laughs> Another number, please, Anne. <laughs> Eleven. Which country's flag was first on the moon? United States of America. No, sir, the Soviet Union. They dropped it before the Americans actually landed there. Another number, please, Anne? Twelve. Derek, who was Sir Percy Blakeney? He was a fictitious character, um, a you detective. You got there. What? The Scarlet, Scarlet Pimpernel, Pimpernel he was. You've lost right. one life, Derek. You still have two left. Another number, please, Anne? Number eight. Number eight. David... In golf, how many strokes below par is an albatross? Three. Yes, sir. Did you know or did you guess? Guess. <gasps> <laughs> well, it wasn't a birdie or an eagle, so... The <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, number, two, please. Yeah. Um, number nine. Number nine. Uh, Kevin, what is the IMF in financial terms? The International Monetary Fund. It is, Kevin. A number, please. Number four. Number four. Graham, the Tibetan sacred mother of the waters is what? Mount Everest. Yes. A number, please. Um, number 11, please. Number 11. Colin, which estuary is formed by the rivers Trent and Ouse? Is it the Wash? The Humber, sir. Graham, another number, please. 
11 again, please. 11 again. What title, what courtesy title, does an earl's wife hold? Is it Duchess? It's Countess. You have to sit down, Colin. Another number, please, Graham. Uh, number eight, please. Number eight. David, which American city is served by O'Hare International Airport? Chicago. A number, please. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Kevin, which English county has the motto Invicta, which means unconquered? Norfolk. Kent, you've lost one life, you have one left. Another number, David? Number nine. Number nine, Kevin. Which physicist said, give me a firm spot on which to stand and I will move the earth? Faraday. Archimedes, you have to sit down. There are four of you left, David. I want three for the final. Number five. Number five, Anne. By which name was the 16th century artist Dominicus Theotokopoulos better known? El Greco. Oh, thank goodness you got it right. A number, please. Number 12. Derek, what are timpani? Drums. They are. A number, please. Six. Five, sorry. Who is contestant number six <laughs> over there? Who is it? Charles? <laughs> he's been sitting down for a quarter of an hour and he's twice been nominated. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Derek. Five, did you say? Oh, yes. Mm. Anne, how many sides has each cell of a honeycomb? Eight. Six. I don't believe that many of you at home got some of those answers in three seconds. Honestly, I don't. After the break, Graham, David and Derek will join me here. I hope we'll see you in two or three minutes. Our three surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Graham Palmer, a lab technician from Nottingham, David Pugh, a senior lecturer from West Hope, Herefordshire, and Derek Smith, a sheep farmer from Hallstock, Dorset. Welcome back. The target for our finalists to aim at is still 2.30, and I fancy that one of these three gentlemen here today might well make somewhere near it. Gentlemen, you each start the final with three lives intact. As before, incorrect answers will cost you those lives, but in the final, you know... A correct answer will earn you 10 points. It starts on the buzzer and is played like this. I'm going to ask you questions from this pack of 40. First on the buzzer gets a chance to answer. First with three correct answers and therefore 30 points. Then retains the questions and has the choice of either answering the question in the hope of building up a large score or nominating one of the other two in the hope of costing them lives. You ready? When two of you have gone, we should have a winner. If, however... These 40 questions are exhausted before we reach that point, then it will be the contestant with the highest score, irrespective of lives, who wins. Is that quite clear? Fingers on the buzzers, please. Here we go. What is a derringer? David? It's a small pistol. It is indeed. You have 10 points, sir. To what did Idlewild Airport in New York change its name? David? Kennedy Airport. It did, sir. You have 20 points. What sort of an animal is a capuchin? David? It's a monkey. It is. You have 30 points. And you have a chance. Do you want a question or nominate? I'll have a question, please. In China, what colour does a bride traditionally wear at her wedding? Black. Red, sir. You've lost one life. Fingers back on the buzzers, please. In which city is the royal residence of Holyrood Palace? Derek? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. It is, sir. Question or nominate, Derek? Question. Performed at British coronations, who composed Zadok the Priest? Handle. Question or nominate? Nominate. David. David, on which race course is the Irish Derby run? Carrick Fergus. Yeah. No, sir, the Curry, you've lost a life. Derek, question or nominate? I nominate David. David, what symbol appears on Russian military aircraft? A red star. Yes, sir, just. Question or nominate? Uh, Graham. Graham, the prefix telly, as in television telephone, means far off. From which language does it come? Greek. Question or nominate, Derek Graham? I'll have a question, please. What is the national anthem of France called? The Marseillaise. Question or nominate? Question. Women of which religion wear the burqa? Uh, Muslims. Islam. Fingers on the buzzers, please. Which is Britain's smallest native falcon? The hobby. The kestrel, you've lost a life. Fingers back on the buzzers, please. 
Which cartoon character has three nephews called Huey, Louie and... Donald Duck. Dewey was the third one. Question on nominate, Graham? Uh, I'll nominate Derek. Derek, how many law sittings are there in a year? Three. Four, sir. You've lost a life. Graham, question on nominate? Uh, Derek again, please. Derek, in the Southern Hemisphere, the Cook Strait separates the North and South Islands of which country? New Zealand. Question on nominate, Derek? Nominate David. David, of what stone was the Parthenon in Athens built? Sunstone. Marble, sir. We have to say goodbye to you. Derek, you have 30 points and one life. Graham, you have 30 and two lives left. Derek, it's with you. Would you like the question or nominate? I'll nominate. Graham, where is the family seat of the Dukes of Bedford? Bewley. Woburn Abbey, you've lost one life. Derek, question or nominate? I'll nominate. Graham, in 1922, which Saints' Day became a national holiday in England? George. Yes, sir. Question or nominate? Um, nominate. Derek, which tube line runs from central London to Heathrow? Piccadilly. Does indeed. Question or nominate? Nominate. Graham, what does NASA, N-A-S-A, -S -S stand for? National Aeronautic and Space Administration. It does. Question or nominate? Nominate. Derek, what exactly does polyglot mean? A person of many tongues. Yes, indeed. Question or nominate? Nominate. Graham, how many times was Lincoln elected President of the United States? Twice. Yes, sir. Question or nominate? Nominate. Derek, what is an aviatrix? Uh, an aviator in a woman. A woman aviator. <laughs> it is. That's one way around it, sir. Question or nominate? Nominate. Graham, which Indian city does Sahar Airport serve? Bombay. Yes, sir. Question or nominate? Nominate. Derek, under British colonial rule, it was Nyasaland. What is it now? Malawi. Yes, sir. Question or nominate? Nominate. Graham, what bell rings at Lloyd's to signify a ship has sunk? Uh, the Liberty Bell. No. The Lutine Bell. And we have to say goodbye to you, Graham. <laughs> Derek, you have 70 points and one life left. There are, what, 14 questions left. Let's see how many points that one life can earn you. Are you ready, sir? Uh -huh. Here we go. In Greek mythology, who died because his wings melted when he flew too near to the sun? Icarus. What is the fruit of the blackthorn called? Slow. Who was the first singer to leave his voice to posterity that is on record? George Roby. Caruso. <laughs> well, there you are, 90 points you've got, Derek. It automatically takes you onto the finals board. And there, joint number three, Derek Smith, 90 points. I don't know how long it will last, but at least you'll stay there until we've had 15 programmes. OK, and I wish you luck. There we are. The finals board is filling up. Once we have 15 names on it, new contestants will know the minimum score they will need to find a place, and those in the bottom positions will have to watch each day to see whether they survive. I hope we see you tomorrow, same time, same channel. Bye-bye. Graham from Nottingham's incorrect answer was accepted after the game finished, so he was invited to return to the series and play again at a later date.